this is kilo code and this is a completely free and open source alternative of augment code if you don't know about augment code so this is probably one of the best ai code editor out there the only problem is its pricing i'm a regular user of augment code and i have subscribed to this hundred dollars per month plan so that's the fixed monthly cost that you're going to pay for the tool but in terms of kilo code you're not going to pay anything for the tool itself because the tool itself is completely free and open source you are just going to pay based on your usage so kilo code has an api provider just like Klein or rucode and you can use maybe kilo codes api provider or you can just like bring your own api key from open router or any other api provider in fact you can use lm studio as well that means you can run your ai models locally on your computer and then you can use ai model through lm studio so basically you are using kilo code absolutely for free and you are using augment code level agentic capabilities absolutely for free so let's just dive deep and test kilo code and see what this tool is actually capable of so before you start please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well so to start using kilo code just go to kilo code.ai and from here you can install kilo code in vs code inside cursor and in fact with windsurf and tray as well so i'm going to use kilo code with vs code so just make sure that you have installed vs code already on your computer and then you can just go to the extensions tab from here just look for kilo code and then simply just click on install and then install kilo code ai agent in here the good thing is when you sign up it will give you five dollars of free credits that means you can start using kilo code right away without paying for anything and it will give you twenty dollars worth of credits once you top up for the first time so that means in total you are going to get 25 dollars these are more than enough credits for you to like build something serious so once kilo code is installed just open it and this is how it will look like so this is the chat interface of kilo code and if you want to like uh, bring your own api key maybe you want to like use any other api key provider you want to use something like deep seek or maybe open router or gemini or maybe lm studio so you can just like choose your own api key provider from here in case if you don't want to pay for anything you can just like use open router and you can just maybe use something like grok as well because grok will also provide you a lot of ai models absolutely for free a lot of you in comments section ask for like the free ways of getting the free ai models so i think the best way is use something like kilo code and then you can just get the five dollars reward and in case if you don't want to top up anymore you can just use any other api provider inside kilo code so you can just like go to open router or grok and then you can just start using those ai models absolutely for free on open router if you just look for free you can see all of these different free ai models available in here there is deep seek version 3.1 available for free there is gemini 2.5 flash as well available absolutely for free there is kimi k2 available for free and then a lot of other really good models as well so once you have selected your api provider now after that you can just choose any of the ai models i'm going to use clot sonnet 4 you can just like choose any of these ai models out there like there are literally every single model available in here just use any of these models from here so i'm going to use clots at four and now let's just start creating a project let me just give it a task and then let's just see how it will perform inside the chat there are these different options one is architect that can actually plan and design before start writing code then there is of course the code option then there is the ask option then there is a the debug option as well debug can diagnose and fix software issues this is more like an in-house ai software testing agent so before you start actual development you can just like go with the architect option then you can just like plan and maybe like create some requirements documents so once everything is ready then you can just like start writing code so let's just start our first testing i am going to create an auto play chess game so i have got this prompt this is a very detailed prompt that i used for another testing so i'm going to use that same prompt this prompt contains a very detailed guideline about creating an auto play chess basically a chess game that can keep auto playing so we are going to create this game inside html only so let me just press enter and see what kilo code does so right now you can see the api request has been started now it is thinking and now it is creating its own to-do list that's really good and then after that you can see inside this to-do list there is create html structure with all of the required elements implement css styling with responsive design so it has created uh, a to-do list for itself that's amazing and now it is writing code so let's just wait for it to finish writing code so it has just created this autoplay dash chess dot html so this is our main file so let's just wait for it to finish writing code for this file and after that it will implement the css styling and then it will create the game logic inside javascript and then basically it will build the complete autoplay functionality so far it's going really well you can see the progress in here as well so this overall experience is more like client or row code because you can see uh, we can track the progress as well so that's that's really cool 
So let's just wait for it to finish this task. Just remember that we're using Claude Sonnet 4. So you can just like use any other AI model. But for this test, we are just using Claude Sonnet 4. Okay, so within just literally few seconds, it has just completed all of these tasks. And now it is testing this application. And for testing, you can see Kilo AI agent just opened this autoplay dash chest file inside browser and then created a preview. And then after that, you can see it just like conducted its testing. And then you can see it is conducting testing in real time. And even it tested the full game. And now everything is ready now we can just like try it ourselves so after this task is completed you can see this is the detailed report and here is the key features tested as well so it tested already all of these different features which is really handy so it did not just like create random code and then after that asked us to like test it but it actually just like uh, went one step further and then it tested this game itself so this is the game that it has created i can simply just click on the start game and now it will you can see it has now already started it playing so this is an autoplay from both sides it is playing automatically i am not like touching my keyboard or mouse so it is playing automatically at any point i can just like click on the stop button and now i can just like click on this next move next move and then i can just like play all of these moves by myself you can see the each move that i'm making it is showing me the details of that move which is cool so yeah i mean it just like created this game with just one simple prompt and i did not have to like literally do anything just keep in mind there is just one file which is autoplay dash just dot html there is no authentication system there is no database or anything this is like just a simple plain front end of this game but this game is fully functional because we are using javascript as well for the logic of the game and also a css styling so overall this is like just a basic simple game built in html nothing complex everything's just like super simple now let's just create something more complex let's just create something like a proper 3d rubik's cube simulator and then we'll see that how this tool actually performs so i've just opened an empty folder again and now i'm going to provide this prompt which is a very detailed prompt to create a 3d rubik's cube simulator again the main point is which model you are using if you're using Claude Sonnet 4 we are most probably going to pass all of the tests. If you're going to use something like more cheaper model, maybe GLM 4.5, which is really good for code as well. Maybe Quen 3, again, another good model for code, but not as good as Claude Sonnet 4. So it totally depends what sort of AI model you are using. If you're serious about your project, so I think you should use something like Claude Sonnet 4. So once you've selected your AI model, now just press enter. And now let's just see if Kilo Code can create this project. Of course, it is going to create this project. There are a lot of AI models that actually failed this task. But let's just see if Kilo Code can actually finish this task properly in first iteration. So after just a couple of minutes, it has just created this project and you can see it is conducting the testing as well and now it was playing the game and now even it was creating the simulation itself as well so that's amazing let's just try to run the simulation ourselves and see what it has created so this is how to play chess hold on let me just go to ruby cube simulator and this is what it has created this looks nice so far let me just click on scramble perfect that's not scrambling it's not really scrambling okay so let me just increase the cube size to four a new cube has been created and the scrambling actually is not working okay yeah it's just like playing that simulation but not actually actually scrambling that so yeah i mean you can just like go back to your ai model you can just ask in chat to fix the scramble issue and then solve issue so that's more like a model issue rather than the kilo code issue so you can just like ask it to fix that scrambling issue and then just like create a proper fully functional ruby cube simulator but overall it has just like created something really nice in the first attempt that's something very nice but yeah still there are issues so you can just like resolve that so overall kilo code performed really well just like klein or rucode but i think the performance of kilo code is better than klein and rucode so if you are looking for a completely free and open source ai code editor i think kilo code is a really good tool just go ahead and give it a try let me know in the comment section what you think about kilo code i'll see you next video bye bye